All right, welcome back. So in the first video of this two-part film, we implemented the voice to text functionality. So whatever we say is displayed on the screen. Like let's let's quickly recap it. So hi there. How are you today? So this is what we did last time. And today we'll implement the next feature, the answers of our bot. So let's um, quickly demonstrate on what we'll implement. Um, so let's start. How are you? I am fine. Thanks. How are you? I am fine too. Nice to hear that. How can I assist you today? Hmm, you could tell me about the weather. Of course. I just need to know where you are currently. Hmm, let's assume I'm in London. It's 18 degrees and sunny. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't understand that. Alright, so this is what we do today. But to be very clear about expectations here, so we are not going to implement some kind of fancy artificial intelligence bot. So this is really about the basic functionality of how we can make the browser speak basically and reply to our messages. It's more like an if and else stuff, uh, but nevertheless, it's fun. So enjoy the video. All right, so this is uh, the status of where we stopped after the first video. Um, and uh, first thing we'll do now is adding a new function, a function uh, basically for our bot voice. Let's call it also bot voice and it gets an input parameter, our message. Um, so when I say our message, it's actually true because remember this um, recorder on result here, we'll basically um, transcript and lock to the screen the screen of what we say to the browser and it's stored in variable transcript and later on once this function uh, this function is uh, ready we'll call this function from here and we'll forward the transcript as message to our bot voice that within here we can interpret what's coming as as message and yeah um, um, program the the necessary result to speak out of the bot all right, um, now one thing I really hate, so we'll make use of, and I really hate this word, so I try to only to tell it once, it's called speech synthesis uterans. I, I hope this is correct, and I'm not telling this word again. I really hate it, and first of all, we need to set up a new a new object here, like it's also do documented here on developer.mozilla.org. Um, and um, let's let's do the same in our code. So let's create a new const. Let's call it speech and assign it to new speech, whatever uterans. All right, now um, this uh, functionality has certain properties like pitch, array, text, voice, whatever, and we'll make use of some of them. So um, let's start with speech.text. And this will be the actual message which uh, the bot is reading out. So let's first start with a test message. Or uh, let's do it like this is a test message. All right, next one is speech, speech dot volume, where one is a maximum and zero is absolute silence. The rate is the speed and the last one uh, the last parameter we're using is the pitch of the voice. All right, then the last statement to make it work already is um, basically to use the speech function, uh, the speak functionality. So let's specify window dot speech. Uh, exactly, is this one here? Uh, I think it's a small s. Let's see dot. Oh no, it must be a big S. A dot speak, and then we need to hand over our variable here, speech. All right, so this is already the basic functionality of making the browser or the bot speak. 
Um, but we need to trigger it, of course. And now let's come back to our recorder on result where we actually log on what we say here and add it also to, to uh, the browser page. And let's just simply at the end call our bot voice function and forward our transcript here to this function. Also, we are not using it yet here. All right, let's test it. Refresh. Hi there. Hmm, I'm not hearing anything. Ah, okay, there is an error. I think then it was a small S here over there. Sorry for the confusion. Let's try again. Hi there. Uh, okay, again, error, uncaught type error, cannot read property speak, add bot voice. Okay, let's check this. Um, all right, I did an, did an error here. Basically, this utterance is not needed. It's only window.speech synthesis. Again, I had to say it now. Uh, all right, save it. Let's go back to the browser, refresh one more time, and test one more time. Hi there. This is a test message. Wow, wonderful. So it works already, but it's not yet printed on the screen. But the browser is already talking to us, although it's still a test message. Now let's sort the next things out. All right, next step. So there's not much magic in the next step. Basically. Uh, we created a function at human text here in the first video, and we need to do the same now for uh, the bot. So let's create a new function at bot text. It also gets a text as input. And basically, we can copy everything from here. Uh, but let's give the constants different names here, just a one like this everywhere we are using the variables. Let's create a one. Um, basically, that's it, but not all. So um, as you remember, the chat container for the bot looks a little bit different because it's styled a little bit differently than and the human text container. So we need to add another class to it. It's not only the chat container, but as you see in the index HTML, we commented out, it has a class chat container, but also the class darker here. And that's what we need to do in the add bot text. So what it does basically, um, it creates a div below it uh, with the classes chat container and dark, below it creates a paragraph and to this paragraph, it adds a text, um, and the text is an input parameter to the function. So um, now you might already know that we need to call this function here. So first of all, let's qu query uh, an element here, uh, and we need to have basically this parent container here um, to start with, so uh, variable element document get element by id and we need the container and now to this element we will just append a child append child and we'll append this chat container which we are returning from the function so add bot text and we hand over as text our speech dot text here all right, let's try it out. Back to our browser, a refresh. Hi there. This is a test message. Et voila. So our bot um, voice or whatever the bo bot says is being displayed in the browser now. Now the last part, or now it's time for the last part of this video and of the series of these two videos. It's the logic um, of the bot on how he interprets um, our message and then replies to it. Let's have a look at this. 
All right, so let's come to the fun part. Um, basically, uh, we start with here speech text. This is a test message. We will uh, replace it with some kind of um, yeah default message. So whenever the bot is not programmed to or didn't understand the input we, we give him. So let's um, replace it with sorry, I did not understand that. And now basically, as in the bot voice, we are getting our message out of our transcript here, out of our recorder on result. We can basically react on the message contents. So um, let's start with something like if message includes how are you then reply with or replace the speech dot text to um, I am fine thanks how are you so in a real world chatbot of course you would um, introduce here some text recognition patterns, sentiment patterns to really try to understand what is happening here. It's not so static like I'm doing it, but basically I want to only show you on how this basically works. So there's a lot of creativity to do um, or a lot of creativity possible with this. You can play around with this really like ever you want, but as mentioned, this is only the foundation of all. Uh, of all of this. So um, let's try it out. Um, how are you? I am fine. Thanks. How are you? So this works already really good. So let's try to implement some more um, statements here. So for example, if my response contains the word fine, then the bot should answer. Nice to hear that. How can I assist you today? So a first um, progress would be if you offer based on the message an array of different reactions of which um, the bot randomly chooses so that you don't always get the same response when telling the same keywords. Um, but uh, as mentioned, you can feel free to do whatever you want with this. Um, all right, let's do one more thing. So um, basically then if I'm reply something with weather, so whenever in my message there's something which includes weather, um, the bot thinks, okay, he, he or she should tell me about the weather but of course therefore he need to know where where i am so where are you currently and then last part of the message i'm responding here static so i'm telling him i'm in london and the bot is also replying static here so it is 18 degrees and sunny here it's interesting so here you could easily for example use open weather map which provides a really good api and telling you the weather of different cities so like here it's already displayed for london and basically you could uh, based on the response extract the city name out of the message forward it to this open weather api and basically tell him the real uh, weather but th this is nothing we will do today as mentioned you you can play around a lot here so uh, there are no borders of creativity here but let's um, basically this was the last line of, of the video today let's quickly test it how are you i am fine thanks how are you i am fine too nice to hear that how can i assist you today Hmm, perhaps you can tell me about the weather. Of course. Where are you currently? Uh, currently I'm in London. It is 18 degrees and sunny. Ha, ah, so it works fine. Um, thank you very much for, for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye, see you soon.